We are here at the grand steps of Vidhana Sada in Bengaluru. What you see behind me are brand new electric buses inducted by the Karnataka State Road Transport Corporation. The next time you decide to take a trip to Madikeri, you can also make sure your trip is eco-friendly. Now you can take the newly launched EV Power Plus to not just Madikeri but also Virajpet, Mysuru, Davangere, Shivamogga and Chikmagalur. All these buses originate at Bengaluru. The first bus was launched in January 2023 as a pilot project to Mysuru. Past two months we are uh, doing a pilot mode to Mysuru Bangalore. The response is too good. I would say the bus is 100% full almost in all operations. And secondly the revenue is very good. For a normal time, my diesel buses are earning around 40 to 42 rupees earning per kilometer. My premium sector is earning 60 to 65 rupees per kilometer. But the electric buses surprisingly earn 80 rupees per kilometer. So in that way, what I believe is people must be enjoying the soundless, the vibrationless journey. KSRTC inducted 25 electric buses today and will get 25 more by March end or early April. The buses will make three round trips between Bengaluru and Mysuru a day. Other destinations will have one round trip each. The bus services to Mysuru, Virajpet, Madikeri, Chikmagalur and Davangere will start on March 24th. The service to Shivamogga will start later. Now, the most crucial factor, the battery of the electric bus. The battery is everything in an electric vehicle. For those who are worried about range anxiety or simply afraid that the battery may run out of charge along the way, drop those fears because these buses have a 360 kilowatt hour battery and can travel up to 300 kilometers on a single charge. And in addition to the consumption of the battery, this bus has also got uh, the regenerative technology. The regener regenerative technology is that uh, whenever the bus slows down or whenever the driver supplies the brake, so electricity is generated within the bus. And uh, some amount of energy is also goes to the power uh, battery and th that battery can be utilized for additional kilometers. So this regenerative uh, technology due to which uh, the battery can be charged up to 15 to 20 percent. KSRTC has set up fast charging stations in seven different locations in Karnataka. It takes around two to three hours to fully charge the battery. There is no compromise in the comfort or the safety factor in these buses. You will find all the regular features like GPS, disc brakes with anti-locking braking system, ABS. In addition, an emergency button for each passenger is also available. CCTV cameras have also been installed. These 12-meter-long, fully air-conditioned buses are built on a monocoque chassis. When compared to traditional buses with ladder-on-frame chassis, monocoque buses have very minimal vertical and horizontal movement. This, along with air suspension, increases the passenger comfort by a great extent. These Made in India buses come with the most advanced battery management systems. It can monitor leakage of energy, fire and battery overheat. The battery is protected and has gone through several nail penetration tests. This will allow the battery to withstand water ingress in case of flooded roads as well. Booking for the EV Power Plus will soon be available on the Karnataka State Road Transport Corporation's official site. KSRTC's EV Power Plus buses are going to be the first step towards greener public transport in Karnataka. With state-of-the-art charging facilities and infrastructure, electric buses are going to be the future of bus transport in Karnataka and diesel buses may well be on their way out. With camera person Karthik and producer Adityan, this is Mutir Rahman Siddiqui for Deccan Herald.